And I've seen you. I've seen you online <laughs> imitating me. Yes! You Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most savage impressions done in front of the actual person. You're looking very well tonight. <laughs> oh, it's very kind of you, Nick. <laughs> You look great, too. For this list, we're looking at the most hilarious and jaw-dropping times people came face-to-face -face with an impersonator. Is there another impression worth shouting out? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Frank Caliendo as David Letterman Known for his stand-up comedy and television appearances, Frank Caliendo has garnered a reputation as one of the best impressionists of the century. It's really great to be here at Impressionist Week. I, every impressionist seems to have a signature impression. For me, it's John Madden. He displayed this talent when he stopped by The Late Show with David Letterman to perform an all-star lineup of characters. After doing accurate interpretations of George W. Bush and John Madden, the comedian transitions into a surprise performance of Letterman himself. Every time I'm here, the only thing I can think of is Dave on the side going, <laughs> Hey kids, uh, 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 this, uh, I could listen to that John Madden all day. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Paul? Caliendo captures the facial expressions and speech patterns of the host perfectly. The comedian also makes a commendable turn as the show's band leader, Paul Schaefer. Uh, and I'm not sure if you should have done it. I thought it was okay, Dave, okay. <laughs> when Caliendo imitates the presenter's laugh, we can tell he nailed it. Seeing the comedian fearlessly impersonate the host made for great late night TV. Number 9. Oprah Winfrey as Reese Witherspoon While three cast members of A Wrinkle in Time were promoting their film, they joined James Corden on The Late Late Show couch. Is it true that when you were away shooting the movie in New Zealand, you missed your children so much you would treat Mindy like a child? <laughs> <laughs> Is this true? Well, you know, James, I like to create a lot of activities. The host asked the three performers about their time working together and prompted them to do accurate impressions of each other. Oprah Winfrey's imitation of Reese Witherspoon is a standout with its southern drawl. Girl, girls, ladies, ladies, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I have a helicopter gonna pick us up right in front of the yard, right there. We're gonna go right in front of the yard. Then we're gonna go to the top of the mountain, then we're gonna hike, y'all. Then we're gonna get on the boat, y'all. The TV legend makes her co-star crack up with details about the actress's onset antics. In the interest of fairness, Witherspoon also gets to fight back with an impression of her own. It's not the giving of the car. Okay, go on. It's probably something very emphatic with a very low voice <laughs> about how deep the meaning of life is. <laughs> she also gets to imitate Mindy Kaling, too. The other thing I love about Mindy is like, this is so fun, but I also have some follow-up questions about it. We never expected to see these powerhouses take jabs at each other. Thankfully, they have as much fun roasting each other as we did watching them. Number 8. Kiki Palmer as Angela Bassett 16 years after the release of the film Aquila and the Bee, Angela Bassett and Kiki Palmer reunited in a discussion for Vanity Fair. Hi. <laughs> hey, darling. It's so good to see you, you too, so pretty girl. Good. Come on, let's yeah. sit down and chat. This included some fond memories of the filming and some fan appreciation from Palmer. She does a spot on impression of Bassett's role as Katherine Jackson in The Jacksons, An American Dream. In the video, the younger actress puts her entire face into this imitation to capture the veteran's mannerisms. You will lie, and you will cheat, and I don't want you, I don't, I don't want, want you, you, I don't want you, you no know more. Yeah! <laughs> For a moment, we thought Bassett would be thrown off by Palmer's highly dramatic take, but the esteemed performer decides to join in the mimicry. She embraces the over-the-top nature of her past role with glee. Together, the duo made an unfiltered impression absolutely hilarious. It was too good! Yes! Your acting is just too good, and that's why it's it's so easy, honestly, to impersonate in my mind, because I'm like, you just gotta put that emotion into yes. it! <laughs> you know, up. It's okay. Number 7. Bill Hader as John Malkovich Bill Hader's talk show host character, Vinny Vidici, welcomed John Malkovich in this hilarious Saturday Night Live appearance. <laughs> After doing a loose attempt at a career retrospective, Videci does an impersonation of the seasoned actor. Hayter effortlessly imitates his scene partner's cadence and voice perfectly. I can be John Malkovich. I'm sorry? Hello. My name is John Malkovich. <laughs> I don't sound anything like that. No, you, know, you sound exactly like this. <laughs> And, to make matters more impressive, he even retains hints of the accent he was doing for Videci at the same time. 
While Malkovich plays along, the idea of getting easily impersonated by someone who is also putting on a fake accent is pretty savage. Doesn't he sound like this? Yes. la cosa do John Malkovich. Hey, John Malkovich. Hey, John Malkovich. Hater's ability to juggle both his character and a celebrity impression is both brutal and peak comedic talent. Number six, Julie Bowen as Sofia Vergara. After the cast of Modern Family got on Ellen, we were treated to some great banter. It also gave Julie Bowen a chance to show off her impression of Sofia Vergara. Who does the best Sofia Vergara? Julie. I, mean, I think it's Julie. Julie. Really? Yeah. I just do it a lot. It doesn't <laughs> mean it's good. She's definitely not the only person to have an imitation of the Colombian actress. However, Bowen definitely rose above the rest with a story about getting ready for the talk show. She goes, what are you going to wear for Ellen? And I said, you know, I'm going to wear, she goes, is it cocktail? <laughs> well, I'm wearing, like, trousers, but cocktail. <laughs> Vergara and her co-stars immediately chuckled at the precision of the accent. On the one hand, Bowen's interpretation took shots at the actress's personality and well-known voice. I will wear something tight and like a dolce maybe, but it will have fruit on it or flowers so you know it's for the day. It's not <laughs> But she also captured the performer's joyful personality and fashion sense. Vergara can't help but agree that it was accurate when she discussed her wardrobe. Number 5. Tom Hiddleston as Graham Norton when Graham Norton welcomed Tom Hiddleston onto his talk show, he probably didn't consider that he would be the source of an impression. People just do impressions of you, don't they? Very the... rarely. Yeah. Very rarely. Yeah. What, no, what, am I in your canon? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I haven't, it's like, I always, I feel like I, I wouldn't be able to do it until I've met you, but I have. After the host mentioned that people don't often do impersonations of him, the actor took it as a challenge. Hiddleston asked for props and used the presenter's cards to great effect. So. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> um, so, so you, so you, you've never been on the show. Um, Before Norton can realize what's going on, the actor completely took over. Hiddleston chose to capture the host by going over the top and rapidly switching pitch and tone. By the end of the whirlwind interpretation, everyone on the couch is completely amused by the performance. Norton himself had no choice but to admit Hiddleston had nailed him. I feel your pain, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> first time. There's only a first time for everything. Number four, Chloe Fineman as Julianne Moore. Sometimes it takes a truly specific impression to wow a crowd. Saturday Night Live star Chloe Fineman did just that when she was a guest on The Ellen Show. Hi, Chloe. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. I understand uh, I learned today in the meeting that you were almost on the show. When the host brings out Julianne Moore to join them, the comedian unleashes her best turn as the actress. Feynman's bit is all about how similar the actress's sad and happy expressions can be. I do a thing, um, is this Julianne Moore laughing or crying? <laughs> Moore was clearly surprised by the performance at first. In one fell swoop, Feynman nailed the actress's voice and poked fun at a subtle trait. Her ingenuity clearly separates the comedian from other impressionists. Both performers end up trying the same routine in unison in a hysterical finale. <laughs> Number 3. Jimmy Fallon as Russell Brand Russell Brand is a brash and mischievous comedic personality that few people can imitate well. We've known each other a long time, Jimmy, That's and weird. I think I've put more into our relationship than you have. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want, don't do this on air, don't put, don't say this on air. Thankfully for us, the comedian got a solid impression from the host of The Tonight Show. Jimmy Fallon's goofy inflections and physical performance mimic Brand better than almost anyone. He spoofs his guest in a fully-fledged presentation that matches the target's voice. That's when you come out, there. you're very flowy and very high-pitched and very outgoing, <laughs> and you're on, and you're looking, and you're singing, and you're sexy and unbuttoned. By the end of the bit, we're convinced that Fallon's impression might have gotten under the star's skin a bit. While Brand does play along, we have to give it to the host for fully going in on the comedian with the impression without any hesitation. That's a bloody good impression. In a way, it's an honor to be humiliated by you. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Andy Samberg as Nicolas Cage. A fixture on Saturday Night Live in the late 2000s, Andy Samberg brought a recurring segment to Weekend Update with his best Nicolas Cage impression. But the best version brought in the real actor himself. Cage 
plays opposite his doppelganger with all of the self-awareness that fans could hope for. However, Samberg kicks it up a notch with his anger-induced rendition of the performer. How is this possible? I'm looking at two identical <laughs> Nick Cages. Well, Seth, I can explain if you just calm down! <laughs> From his hairline to his aggressive intonations, the comic actor gives this performance his all in the face of the real master. It all comes together with just the right amount of tongue-in-cheek delivery and an iconic final line. The time has come for us to ride on to our next adventure. What is that? We're gonna have a three-way with the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. All Guests as Arnold Schwarzenegger On an episode of The Graham Norton Show, an eclectic panel of guests gather to try out their very best Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions. What do we have to do? I'm gonna do a shot of myself. Okay. And then I go from person to person. And we say a catchphrase. Then, exactly, whatever you want to say. The one fact that made this panel must-see TV is that the action movie legend was also present to experience it all in real time. Cara Delevingne and Amelia Clark jumped in first with energetic performances. Quick, I'll be back. <laughs> As de la vista, baby. Awesome. Tiny Tempa and Graham Norton also dropped pretty decent impressions. Who's your daddy now? And what does he do? <laughs> I'm old, not obsolete. <laughs> But Jake Gyllenhaal Sean with his take on a line from Kindergarten Cop. There is no bathroom. <laughs> Throughout it all, the Hollywood icon took it all on the chin and let the others have fun. It ends up being a loving and savage spoof of some of the best lines in his career. Number 5. Tom Hiddleston as Graham Norton This one's my favorite. You have never been on the show. 